Okay, folks, so this is a quick guide to using the DualSense on, um, well, RPCS3 and then programs in general on uh, Manjaro Linux, to be honest. So you go to this uh, three dots over here when you're in the add or remove software. So actually, if anyone's not familiar, you type in add in this Manjaro button um, screen where you can search and you can see it's the first one. I've already got it open. Anyway, three dots, preferences. Now I've already got these options enabled, but what you want, what you'll have by default is this. So you enable AUR, which is the Arch Linux support. You actually don't need the others. Um, I'm going to have them enabled just because I want everything like that enabled in case I can't find something. Um, it's just, um, I believe it's um, like app stores uh, made by different um, sort of communities. So this is the Arch community, Flatpak, Snap. So I understand it. Could be wrong, I'm not going to claim to be a Manjaro expert or any Linux expert in any way, shape or form. Anyway, you press the search button here. Now you have all these options. All actually doesn't work. You have to click AUR here for the Arch one and you have to type in Xbox DRB and press enter. And it's this one. Now this one takes quite a while to download. So you're just going to, you're going to tick that. So you can see I clicked it, it became a tick, press apply. Um, just press apply, you don't have to touch anything here. It'll take quite a while because it's building. Um, I don't know if that's a normal thing to do, but this is how I go about this. And it just works for whatever reason. So whilst I wait for that to build, I'm now going to go to my web browser, Firefox. Okay, now I've got this um, favorited on my web browser. And it goes to exactly where I was last up to on the page. So you can press Control F and go to this. Uh, whatever method you choose, it's a bit like Windows and that stuff. So you can press Control X, Control F, sorry, and then type in DualSense. You see it take you to the contents page, and you can just click here, and it'll take you to this bit. Anywho, um, leave this open. You're going to need that, and wait for this to build. I'll be right back once this is done. All right, so um, apparently it's done. It was kind of fast for me, actually. Uh, it's not normally that fast. It's probably because I uninstalled it earlier and I re-downloaded it. Maybe there's some files that I already had. But whatever, that's all you have to do. So now, going back to this web page. Oh, whoops. Go back to this web page over here. You see we've got these, um, what's the word? I don't know, command lines, whatever. You can right click and press copy, uh, which I'm gonna do for simplicity here. And then what you want to do is press the Manjaro button or your Windows button on your keyboard most likely and you can type in terminal, although it should be here. Any terminal um, usually does for me, but it's fine. Now what you're going to do, you don't press Control B like Windows, you press Control Shift B, don't ask me why. And it'll say warning unsafe, just press enter or you can press paste it. So I'm going to just press enter in my case and I'm going to press enter again. Now my controller works like an Xbox 360 controller. So, for instance, if I go into RPCS3 now and go to pads. Okay, so now you can see the analogs is in the center. Everything works how it should do, L2, R2. Now, you'll see if I close this application down, so Control c to quit. Oh, close this command. I don't know what it's called, but you get the gist. Now you can see everything's disabled in this Xbox One. Go to my DualSense controller here and look where my analogs are. And other things are wrong. I just don't know what yet. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, if I was to go in the game, all things would be completely swapped. Guaranteed it. I remember trying it. But that pretty much concludes the tutorial. You just put this command in. Um, so I'll do it again. Press enter. And you leave it on. You have to leave this window open, I think. Um, I've never tried, I don't think it works when you close it. Well, you see, it'll kill the process, so you've got to keep this open the entire time. Um, it'll work on Steam games, all sorts, so it's quite a nice thing to learn how to do for you 1% Manjaro users. And that pretty much concludes this video.